I'm going to be making one of those uh, budget friendly meals uh, in the slow cooker and I'm sorry guys I don't have the equipment for those so I am going to be doing that or getting that so this makes it much easier to do this when I try to film this so anywho um, this is going to be in two parts since it's a slow cooker you know it's going to take a while to cook so we're just going to get right on it um, I'm going to be making some uh, pork steak uh, with onions and gravy for dinner and so yeah we got to get right on it so because it's gonna like I said it's gonna take a while so first off um, you know I called for like um, almost three pounds of uh, pork steak but I'm doing a little bit more than that so I'm gonna uh, put this on for about three and a half to four hours but I've already chopped up the onions so you just uh, chop up your onions just one thing of onions so you can use two whatever you want and you just put it in the bottom of your slow cooker, crock pot, whatever. And then you take your pork steak and you just lay it on top. Like I, I have, um, I bought two packages and it comes, it, it says about almost three pounds. And I think mine is close to like four and a half, so maybe an extra pound, no big deal. So I think there's like, what, six of these total? Let me count. I know this sounds funny, but I, I do have a reason to my madness. One, two, three. I think there was about what seven in there seven or eight I really lost track I'm gonna say seven I think there was seven in there maybe eight but we're just gonna say seven altogether okay and then um you could put whatever seasoning I'm just gonna put some seasoning salt you can put garlic or pepper um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning salt and a little bit of pepper. You can do whatever seasonings you want. And then you just take a package, if you can see, of pork gravy, and you mix that with a cup of water in a separate bowl and mix it really good. I'm doing this off camera. Like I said, I do not, I wasn't prepared to do um, a short video here on this. I decided to make this for dinner and I thought, why not? Um, since it is, uh, you know, I'm trying to focus uh, a lot on budget friendly meals and, you know, some quick meals. And you really do not even have to uh, mix it up. There's going to be, you know, still some little chunkies in there. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But then you just pour it all over. And you're going to see some, some little pieces in there. And that's fine. And then you just get a can of mushroom, cream of mushroom soup. Now... If for some reason um, you don't want cream of mushroom, you can use cream of chicken or if you're allergic to mushroom soup. And you just spread it on top. You don't mix it. Don't have to mix it. And I don't know if I said it before, but I absolutely hate mushrooms. But I do... Um, 
I do use a lot of mushrooms, cream and mushroom soup when I make different meals. Now, I do have more meat in here. Um, I'm just going to spread it. I do have more meat in here than it calls for, you know, like um, about a pound more. But I've made this before, and it's made quite a bit of juice or slash gravy. And I've, you know, more than usual, not more than usual, but I've thrown, you know, I've wasted it. I've, I've thrown it out. Uh, we just didn't use it all, so we'll kind of see um, how much juice that is, gravy. And you're just going to put this on for... You know, it says low, but I've put it on medium before, um, and it cooked up very nice, and we're just going to see how this goes with more meat in there. What did I say? We had like seven on the low end. We might have had eight pieces of meat in there, but we're going to say seven. You know, uh, when I do the second video, I'll talk about, um, you know, why.